Hi everyone, we're in the Woodland Garden again, and today the featured flower is wild ginger. And David is getting a zoom in shot of the most exotic flower. Wild ginger flowers grow on the ground, and why do you think that would be? You're right, because the pollinating pollinators, how do you like that, pollinating pollinators, are things that crawl, like ants and beetles. And there are some flies that will, that will smell this flower, which is not nicely scented to you and me, but it is to the pollinator. Do you see that reddish, almost rotting meat color? That attracts bugs and pollinators that like exactly that. So what's fascinating is how clever this plant is by having the flowers on the ground when you have these giant wind storms. And like us, we had 99, 99 mile per hour winds recently here at Creasy Mayhan. And these lovely flowers were protected because they're hidden underneath these gorgeous heart-shaped leaves. Look at that. They're protected as though it's almost like an umbrella holding overhead. It protects them from hail and wind and rain and even branches that have fallen during the storm. And so that little flower on the ground can still be accessed and will eventually produce fruit. Now for us, have you ever had ginger ale when you've had a tummy ache? Well, wild ginger, this is our native wild ginger. It's not what you're going to be buying at the grocery store. But if you have a healthy patch, you can actually dig one up and you can eat with it. You can slice it up, add it to teas, add it to cooking with fish or whatever it is that you like, vegetables, and it's very health healthy for you. It will give you an overall sense of well-being, which we all want right now, right? So I love ginger because I love the heart-shaped shiny leaves. I grow it as a ground cover at home and also in the woodland garden. We've got patches of it here and it will slowly and surely spread and help keep weeds down as well. Plus, it's just that unusual flower growing on the ground. Enjoy.